Even though it hurts, I won't show it to you Cause it will ricochet, I won't let it bite I will look at you and tell you that I'm alright Like a ricochet, it will come back to you Hey what's up guys, welcome to Trending Reviews so you're probably wondering, these look exactly like the Apple AirPods, but they're not. These are the TWS i500 wireless headphones. They are replicas for AirPods, they are designed specifically that way. So I'm just going to give you a quick overview of the capabilities of this, a bit of a comparison with what this can do and what the AirPods can do, and then obviously give you a sound quality test to see if these actually are worth buying. So let's just get straight into it. Okay, so just starting off, you can see the case, I've bought this in black. This is a glossy black, it is plastic, and it does have a charging LED light on the front. So compared to the AirPods on the um, Apple devices, you can actually see the charging status light on the front rather than inside when you open the lid. So just starting off, giving you an overview of how much this costs. This is just under $50, and you can buy them from multiple places, but you can get this from a company called MGET. I'll leave a link in the description below and where you can buy it and get worldwide shipping on that. Now, this is specifically designed for working well with iPhones and iPads. So it is trying to replicate the AirPods for Apple devices. But if you're an Android user like myself, it works just as well. Now to pair this, you literally just open up the lid you hold the button at the back for about three seconds and it'll go into pairing mode and in your device you'll find it, it is called AirPods so it does have the same name as the Apple AirPods so you just hit that and it connects straight away and you can also see the battery percentage on your device as well whether it's an Android phone or an iPhone and as you can see with the actual AirPod itself you can see it looks exactly like the Apple ones it does have a nice finish to it, it is plastic now it does have sensors inside the AirPods themselves as well so much like the Apple AirPods you can actually take them out and they will pause the music and if you put them back in it will continue to play the music you can actually answer calls and end calls with a double tap as well and if you wanted to skip to the next track then you can uh, triple tap either the left or the right depending if you want to go to the next or the previous track and just as well they uh, connect straight away once you open up the airpod and you put the airpods in your ears they are connected to the last known device so whether that's your phone or your tablet they will connect straight away and when you put them back into the case and then close it then it will go into standby mode and it wouldn't use up too much battery now the charging case is 400 milliamp hours which will give you approximately 15 hours of battery charge on this each of the airpods is 30 milliamp hours and you'll get around three to four hours of music playback time when you're using them individually without the case so the good thing I like about this compared to the Apple AirPods is you can see the charging light on the outside. So if it is uh, green, which means it's 75 to 100% charged. If it's an amber light, you can see straight away that it is between 25 to 75%. And then it goes red if it's under 25%, indicating that it's time to start charging this up. So that's very convenient. Otherwise, with the Apple AirPods, you have to always open up the case to check what the status is of the lights and it doesn't really tell you any indication of different colors. If for any reason you wanted to reset the device and you wanted to clear the pairing information to all of your phones and previous devices, then you can hold the button at the back for about 10 seconds and make sure the AirPods are inside and it should just clear out all of the information. Now let's go ahead and see how this sounds. Now I've got this connected to my Google Pixel 4 and I'm gonna see how the quality is in the base. It's not completely active noise cancellation, but they do claim that it does have a bit of noise cancellation with the enhanced bass and some of the sound quality that they've put inside of these little AirPods. Just to see how it looks in the ears, much like the Apple AirPods, it's the same design, the same length, the width, the dimensions are the same. So as you can see there on the left hand side and on the right hand side, they're pretty um, solid. So it doesn't feel like they'll fall out. Pretty much the same as the AirPods if you were using them, then obviously you'll see that this is the same amount of uh, security in your ears as those as well. So let me go ahead and play something and I'll give you some feedback. Now I'm gonna put it to max volume. is pretty loud. I can imagine if I'm using this inside the gym where it's also quite loud in the environment, I will still be able to hear my music over anything else, especially if I'm going out into the street and going shopping for example and there's a lot of traffic noise, a lot of people noise, then this would dry it out. I can see the clarity in it. Actually for the price you pay, this is actually quite a strong pair of headphones. I can um, definitely see myself wearing this in the gym. 
I can definitely see myself wearing this on my commute in the morning, especially on the trains. So this can definitely drown out a lot of background noise. It does give you a little bit of uh, ambient noise from the background as well, so you're not completely shut off. So it's the best of both worlds, and for $50, I think that's a big win. So for me, the sound quality is excellent. I would definitely use this. I think it's very much similar to the AirPods. I think the um, on the max volume, it is quite louder than the AirPods that I currently use for my MacBook. So that is a big plus from uh, TWS. And I will be taking some pictures and giving some feedback on the audio quality in a week's time to see how I found it on my Instagram page. So do check me out on that. If there's anything else you'd like to know about these, then do drop a comment below. Otherwise, I hope you found that quick review useful of these TWS i500 headphones. And I hope you like this video. I hope you subscribe. And I will catch you guys at the next one. Take care.